Uh, this is Edward from Athena Wireless. Before customers uh, deploy a link, we suggest that they do a bench test. Uh, I'll show you now how uh, this is done in the lab and uh, give advice on uh, some of the suggestions that, uh, that we have. Uh, so, um, uh, first off, we see uh, uh, connected uh, all the equipment. Uh, the two radios are about uh, 18 inches apart. Uh, a PC is connected to uh, one terminal of uh, to one terminal via or PoE. Uh, we insist that you use the PoE. Uh, a voltmeter is connected to the RSSI port on uh, on the radio. And to get a better feel for the RSSI port, uh, I'll show you on a link that we're not using uh, what the RSSI port looks like. So you pull the cap off and uh, you plug the RSSI cable into uh, uh, that port to read the voltage uh, from the terminal. So we'll turn, uh, we'll turn power on. And when power is turned on, the voltage on the radio is about 0.2 volts. Uh, We'd have uh, we'd have that for about two minutes, and uh, once the two minutes is up, uh, we'll be able to um, use our computer and see uh, the GUI on the radio. Uh, terminal A, which you can see here, terminal terminal A would be uh, would have an IP address of one one ninety two and terminal B would have an IP address of 192.168.1.22. Uh, so while we wait for uh, the voltage to come up on the radios, we can type that in. So uh, 192.168.1.22. Cached. And on the uh, other computer, we'll do 182.168.1.22. The login for the radios are admin, admin for the login and password. And see so how here we have the the uh, the link is up, and we see one meter. Uh, at 2.7 volts and another at 2.3 volts if you can see that clearly um, 2.3 volts yes uh, <clears throat> so we can uh, we can see that the link is, is working uh, we can go further and open a, a shell and ping uh, across the link so from the a terminal, we can ping. Uh, you'll get a shell down here if you go down to the bottom. Oh. So we can ping 192.168.122, uh, which is a far side radio. And if we use the dash T, it will do a continuous ping. Uh, and we can do the same on the other side. Um, <clears throat> interestingly, though, uh, you don't have to have attenuating foam. Uh, we can use um, we can use a book uh, to uh, to do the same thing. Yeah. So that's what we'll do now. We'll remove the attenuating foam, and we'll put a book. And what this does is it uh, breaks up the near field effect, uh, as you saw. Uh, when we did that, the pings went away for a while, but now they're back again. So if you don't have attenuating foam, uh, a good book will, uh, will do the trick um, in uh, breaking up the near field effect. Uh, another thing, too, is that the radios can be this close, and you don't have to turn down the gain because the radios have automatic gain control 
and so they'll take care of the gain for themselves. Um, hope this helps. Uh, this is how uh, we do a, a bench test of a link before it's deployed.